Today is Fritz Chrysler's 80th birthday. To salute him on this great occasion, the most distinguished of his colleagues send these transcribed greetings. This is Misha Elman, and I want to take this occasion to congratulate my very great colleague Fritz Chrysler on his 80th birthday and to wish him good health. While somewhat younger than he in years, I yet feel proud to have been part of that era in which Chrysler's great art exerted an epoch-making influence. I have always had a, a great admiration for his inimitable style and great artistry which will long linger in the memory of those who were fortunate enough to hear him. This is Yehudi Menuhin. To Fritz, the most beloved of colleagues, on his 80th birthday, yet another heartful of reverence and affection. May your benign presence among your younger colleagues long bring us the inspiration we cherish. This is Nathan Milstein. I'm very happy for this opportunity to say how much your great artistry and your warm personality has meant to me throughout my career. I wish you happiness and long life. This is Erika Morini, one of your most devoted admirers. Whenever I play one of your compositions, I'm thoroughly inspired by the poetic beauty of your spirit and your art. I wish and hope that you will be with us for many more years to come, for you make this world a much more worthwhile one in which to live. This is Joseph Sigetti. And this is to bring all the affection and admiration and gratitude that I have always felt for our great Fritz Kreisler. This is Ruggiero Ricci. Greetings to Fritz Kreisler on his 80th birthday. My deepest admiration and very best wishes. This is Isaac Stern. It is a great privilege to join with my friends and colleagues in this tribute to you. A tribute not only to a great figure in the history of music, but a great man whose warmth and sincerity and nobility of purpose has meant a great deal and will always mean a great deal to all of us. God bless you and many thanks for all that you have done. And now for the birthday celebration. Mr. Chrysler was in the WQXR studios a short time ago and was interviewed by Abram Chasens, music director of this station. Here is Mr. Chasens. Most often, Fritz Chrysler, we congratulate those whose birthday is being celebrated. In your case, I think we must congratulate ourselves because your birthday is such a significant event in our musical lives and because you are here with us tonight. Thank you very much. It's awfully kind to tell you that. But may I tell you that I am under the impression that you have enhanced my very humble position a little too much in all what you said. I think that's impossible, Mr. Chrysler. Well, I think so. Just the same. I wanted to ask you many things about yourself, and this seems like a fine chance. The fact, for instance, that many of the works which we know today were written by you were at one time, quite a few years ago, thought of as belonging to other people because you put other names on them. Would you tell us a little about that history? very easily to be explained. When I was a young man, I tried to make a position for myself as a violinist and not as a composer. Because at that time, the repertoire of violinists was very scanty, very thin. So consequently, I had to furnish, I had to increase the repertoire. And I couldn't do it otherwise than by doing it myself. I see. And the, the difficulty arose to put my own name on the program because being young and unknown and trying to make a, a, a position for myself as a violinist, that would have looked too bad. And that my, they, nobody would have engaged me to hear my own works. Is it so, also not possible that as a young man, you would have been subject to criticism 
or praise on two rather than one level, then one might have interfered with the Quite other. Quite natural, too. Natural, too. Because I, one is always criticized, all the time. Mr. Chrysler, would you tell us, when did you decide to tell the world what these actual compositions were? Well, it came about when I was, I was in Europe, in Vienna. At that time, at the occasion of my 60th birthday, and then a recital was being arranged here for that same purpose in, I believe it was in Brooklyn. And I don't remember who was to play. Was it Heifetz or Menuhin? But one of the great violinists was going to play a program of my own works. And it was all in downs. Who, f who had to write a, a program? And by making inquiries at my publisher here, at Mr. F Fisher, he found that they were very <laughs> reticent in telling him anything. So he, well, he, uh, I suppose he surmised that there was some interesting story behind it. And therefore he telegraphed me, cabled me, and asked me all about it. And I told him the truth, the story that I had written, these myself. 